What's up, everybody? My name is Zeal. I'm so excited about this word today. This has been a topic that God has been speaking to me about all year, which um, has really gotten me fired up for, um, I don't know, just my future with the Lord and the different things that I'm just like, man, I really got that wrong before, or I wasn't walking in the power that I could have. And um, it's basically the topic of knowing your identity in Christ knowing your identity in Christ and walking in it, which is so much easier said than done because we all have so many things to break off of our mindset and to renew our minds in and to realize, yo, I'm really not of this world. <laughs> Help me to do this, Lord God. Like, how do I, how do I walk as somebody not of this world, but I'm in the world? What do we do? You know what I'm saying? And it's all in the word and it's all a process. And it's all a heart posture of, God, I may have gotten it wrong today, but I love you and I want to get it right. I love you and I want to walk in power. I will love you and I want to walk in victory. Show me the way, Holy Spirit, and open up my heart and mind in different ways that I may have missed it. Um, oh, tear off the veils off of my eyes and my ears so I can hear you and see you the way you need, the way I need to hear and see you in this season of my life. And I thank God for his grace as he pours that out. When that's our prayer, um, God will pour out those things. And sometimes he'll do it quickly. <laughs> so get ready, get ready, get I'm just fine. But, um, but for real. Uh, <laughs> he may do a quick, a quick work, which actually will feel so beautiful. Because we have to remember, don't be afraid of those things. Um, because God is love. And so if God is doing it and he allows the quick work, it's all love. It's always love. All things work together for the good of those who love God. And when you're asking God, I want to be in your will, that means you love God. So it's all going to work together for your good. So no worry. You know what I'm saying? But I wanted to take us to 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 9 through 12 is where I wanted to go. So verse 9, it says, but you, if you've accepted Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior, but you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, his own special people that you, may pro that you may proclaim the praises of him, God, who called you out of darkness. We're out of the darkness into his marvelous light, who once were not a people, but are now the people of God who had not obtained mercy, but now have obtained mercy. Beloved. Now that you have this new identity and you've openly expressed your love for Christ and you say you're a Jesus follower, as much as we can get it right, beloved, I beg you as sojourners and pilgrims, so we're not of this world, we're pilgrims, we're sojourners, we're, we're traveling through until God takes us home. I beg you as sojourners and pilgrims, abstain from fleshly lusts, which war against the soul, having your conduct honorable among the Gentiles. That when they speak against you, because they're going to speak against you, they're going to hate you, people that are following Christ and not doing the social norms. When they speak against you as evildoers, they may, by your good works, which they observe, glorify God in the day of visitation. So how we conduct ourselves as a body of one, how we conduct ourselves with the one Holy Spirit living in all of us. It's so important when people want to talk against us and go against us and, and things like that. We are witnesses of Jesus. So, Lord, I ask for your grace and your mercy in this season, oh God. Redirect us. Alter our minds however need be. Open up our hearts. Give us a heart of flesh to receive your word and your instruction and your correction and how we need in this season, oh God. We thank you that this is not condemnation but correction and we love you oh god and help us um to joyfully serve you jesus so that's going to help us when we're witnessing this is why it's so important as well to forgive our enemies because they're going to come against you but when they see those good works they're going to glorify god in heaven because they see the truth has set you free and has stabilized you in your walk in this in this earth as everything else passes away they'll see the truth of god's word standing firm in your life so god bless you i love you so much i hope you go out there and release the zeal you have for jesus i love you and until next time thank you for listening god bless you bye